Awesome, guys. So now we know how to make some complicated games in Twine uh, with some cool things that variables can do. Um, let's learn some final um, tips and tricks. So let's start with the basic story. We have the same story about the science princess and the crystal crone. Uh, a couple of things. Um, if you want to make text italic, you put two slashes around it. So let's say I'll make robot lord italic. I put a double slash and a double slash. See, it changes into italic already in here. Now if I were to test this, robot lord is, is italic. If I want to make it bold, I do two quote marks. Note, it's not a double quote. It's two single quotes. Okay, I notice it become bold already. Space. Um, so now we can test it, and it is in bold. So that's really handy if you want to do that kind of thing. For now, let's not make it bold or italic. Just want to show you. Um, great. And now take a pause and add some bold or italic to your game. Okay, um, you can also change the background color of the game. Um, this is a little more advanced. We need to access something called the style sheet. The style sheet controls the style of the game, the looks of the game. So first, you click on your game. Um, then you edit story style sheet. So here, we're going to type in this code. It's HTML code. It's our HTML. Open brace. Background dash color red. So we're saying set the background color to be red. Color white. So we say that the text color be white. We can choose any colors we want, um, but only normal colors will work. So blue, green, red. If you try typing in aquamarine or fuchsia or cinnabar, it won't work as well. So notice this it has to be typed kind of exactly like this. Don't forget your semicolon. That's very common to forget. Now let's try playing. See? Background color is red text is white okay that is simple uh, again you can look at the style sheet and you can change that um, so why don't you pause and change the background text color of the game oh also note you don't need both of them you can make the background color white red and keep the text color as it is so here text color is black it's the normal one okay so now take a pause and do that, please. Okay, now, when you play the game, do you see, remember, there are these back buttons to undo what you did? Um, if you don't want to have those, sometimes people don't want to have those. Also, if you have lots of variables, it can mess up the variables. We can remove that as well. So we go to the style sheet. Um, I'm going to remove the background color, kind of like it the way it is. And this time I go sidebar, because that's what the sidebar is. And we can say display none, semi oops, semicolon, don't forget, oops, semicolon, yeah, don't forget semicolon. Okay, so the sidebar is where the arrows are. Let's see what happens there. I'm going to close this. I'm going to play. Yep, the sidebar is gone. It's pretty useful to, to remove that. Okay, I, I want you to take a pause um, and try that. Try removing the sidebar. last thing is if there's a lot of text at the top 
it, the game shows a lot of white space. So if you look at this one, for example, test the start, there's a blank line up here. If we want to eliminate the blank line, I can put a brace here and a brace there. So it changes color. Now in the test, the blank line is no longer there. Okay. The important thing to remember is it's not a good idea to put that. So here we have if and we have print, say, putting something on the screen. If we put the brace around these, this whatever goes on the screen will never appear. So you have to be careful how you use the brace. Um, okay. So those were some tips and tricks um, in Twine. Um, so now you know we've learned a lot. We've learned how to make basic games. We've learned how to use variables to store values, uh, to count things, to make decisions, and we have to use the if command for that. Um, we've learned some trip tips today. We know how to change the text color and the background color, how to make extra code, dis extra white space disappear. All these things can now be combined to make a nice long story. Now, if you want to learn more about Twine, you can go to twinery.org. Um, you can also Google, like search for Twine Harlow Manual. Remember I said Harlow is the format we're using. Um, there are a couple of different formats, um, but this will let you um, get some help and learn more about what to do with Twine. Um, awesome. So I hope you learned a lot. I hope you can now go and make awesome Twine games. Thanks for listening to me.